The event was held at the National Theatre of Somalia, which has a history that reflects the civil war in the Horn of African nation. It has been targeted by suicide bombers and used as a base by warlords. And until Wednesday, it had never screened a Somali film. The evening's program was two short films by Somali director Ibrahim Im, Hughes and Dead from Hill, with tickets sold for $10, equivalent to 8.50 euros each, expensive for many. Mogadishu was home to many cinema halls during its cultural heyday and the National Theatre built by Chinese engineers as a gift from Mao Zedong in 1967, hosted live concerts and plays, but the seaside capital fell silent after civil war erupted in 1991. For many Somalis, it was a trip down memory lane and a reminder of happier times. Attenders had to pass through several security checkpoints before arriving at the theatre inside a heavily guarded complex that includes the presidential palace and the parliament. Built in 1967, the theatre was seen as an important driver for Somalia's cultural development in 1970s and 80s. It was closed in 1991 at the onset of the civil war and was used as a base for warlord fighting over the city. It fell into disrepair as a result. It then reopened in 2012 after repair by the African Union mission in Somalia, Amazon, only to be blown up immediately by Al Shabaab, who consider live entertainment and films to be morally corrupt.